Hi, welcome back to my channel. Sorry about me being super pale against my black backdrop, but I am doing the 10th look in my Black Zodiac series, which is the Leviathan. So if you like to see what I do, just keep on watching. Okay, some quick info on the Leviathan that corresponds with Capricorn, which is what my sign is. That is from December 22nd through January 19th. My birthday is actually on the 19th, so it's right at the cusp. <laughs> so the description is, You are the Leviathan, a monstrosity in a dark abyss. The great potential that you possess is locked away for good reason, but the mere thought of it is enough to strike terror, even to yourself. You fear your own demons because you know very well what they are capable of. But you are neither weak nor a coward. You're... you're they, say they did the wrong your. <laughs> they put an apostrophe R-E instead of Y-O-U-R. Your struggle to gain control is a victory in itself. So yeah. Now when I think of Leviathan, I instantly think dragon. So this is gonna get so this is gonna kinda be inspired dragon-wise for that. And I am going to start off with the brows. Um I did cover half my brows as you can see here. And my color scheme that I'm gonna be using is kinda like blues. So I'm going to be going into my CC Beauty Cream Paint Palette, and I'm going to first start off with this one, and then add some of the dark uh, blue. Okay, I'm just going to use an angled brush for this. So first, going in with that lighter blue. I need a mirror. <laughs> and I am going to completely arch my brow upward. You know, instead of using the blue cream paint, I think I am just going to set this with eyeshadow. First, I'll do like a slightly lighter blue on the front portion. I'm just going to go into this old ass palette that I have that I don't use anymore for my eyes, but I like to use this for um, character looks. This is the Face Candy Atlantis palette, as you can see here. And I'm going to take the shade Abyss to set the front part of my brows, and I'm just taking a um, flat shadow brush. And now for the tail of my brow, I'm going to go into the shade Empire with the same brush. And I'm going to just do that on the tail end of the brow, and then I'm going to blend the shades together. This is the future. Evolution. This is the future. Okay, then next I do think I want to focus on the eyes. So I'm going to dip right into that. I am first going to go into the shade uh, Wild Wisteria from Coastal Scents. And I'm going to take my Royal Atlantic Moda Pro um, crease brush <laughs> for this. Now I do want to do a full cut crease for this look, so I'm going to start by popping this right on the inner curve of my eye, right up to the eyebrow. Make sure my hair is out of the way. <sighs> Still haven't figured out the best way to put shadow over covered brows. <laughs> Now 
kind of just swoop it up like that. And I'm also going to run this on the lower lash line. Kind of drag it up here at the outer corner. Okay, now I'm going to take the shade Deep Grape from Coastal Scents, and I'm going to take a different brush. I'm going to take this angled fluffy brush. This is a defining eyeshadow brush from Beauty Accents. I'm going to dip into that. And I'm going to place this in the same places, just not as high. And then make sure it's nice and blended into that first shade. And then taking that same shade, I'm going to run out my lower lash line. Okay, I had to take a quick little break to uh, get my children their lunch, but I'm going into the shade Midnight Blue from Coastal Scents as well. And I'm going to take the same Beauty Accents brush this is gonna be the last shade that I'm using for my eyes. It's going to be the deepest shade. First in the crease. I'm going to kind of do this. You know, part of me is actually wondering if I should just do like a some kind of shimmer on my lid and then fade it out instead of just doing like a regular like skin tone cut crease. So let me see what I got here color wise. Blue or an icy blue. That is my dilemma right now. <laughs> I'm kind of trying to gauge. <laughs> and then like fade it out maybe. You know what, I think I might just go for it. So this is the shade Blue Hawaiian from um, Coastal Scents once again. <laughs> Okay, sorry if you could hear a lawnmower going on in the back. Somebody is mowing their lawn. I'm just taking this flat shadow brush from Wet n Wild and I'm going to wet it. And then dip into that shade. And then start to apply it first on the inner corner here. Just placing it exactly where I would have put my concealer down.
When it gets to the outer edges here, I'm just going to grab a little and then just kind of like sweep it outward to where it fades. So that I have something like this, which I think looks pretty dang good. And then, before I forget, <laughs> this little corner here too. On the lower lash line. Bring it to a point. Like that. Okay, and now I think I'm going to hold off on um, liner and lashes for a minute. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do... I need to pull my hair back, actually. <laughs> okay. Now I'm going to be going back into this light blue shade from the CC Beauty Cream Paint Palette. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some, like, contour. First I'm going to do contour along the cheeks here, going like this. And I'm going to do two lines, and then maybe even some, like, ridges in between. And then for the forehead, I'm going to do, like, a V shape another one, almost like a Klingon, a Klingon if you know what Star Trek is. I don't know. <laughs> and then I'm going to maybe do the same V um, details along the neck a little. And then I am going to be setting it the same way I think I set my eyebrows, which is the lighter shade Abyss here for the um, lighter areas and then in the darker areas with the shade Empire. I am going to speed up this process because I don't think I need to, um, you know, show you super long periods of this, so yeah. <laughs> This is the future. Human error.
This is the future. Now that all that is done and took freaking forever, I made these little horns out of, um, I molded horns out of air dry clay and then I allowed it to dry for about 24 hours. And then I uh, put a bunch of liquid latex on top, a few layers, and then once that's dry, you powder it and then you peel off the liquid latex and then you could stuff it with cotton like this and paint them so that you have flexible little lightweight horns to use. And I'm going to use these along my face. I have three for each side and I'm going to apply it with liquid latex. Try not to get it in your hair anywhere <laughs> or clothes. Do a patch test if you've never used it before. And then allow them to adhere to your face. <laughs> Take a soda break if you want. <laughs> and then once these are attached, I am going to take some of that dark blue face paint and put some around the base of the horns so that it matches the darker blue and the like kind of, these are kind of supposed to be similar to scales, but not exactly scales. I just wanted to give kind of like somewhat of an illusion. Let me see if that's attached pretty well. Almost. <laughs> this is just a long, you know, weight part. <laughs> just holding it. But yeah, I did um, paint them blue last night because I wanted them to go with the look here. Are they the exact same shades of blue? No, but I think it will still look just as good. <laughs> okay, I think that one might be pretty, 
pretty good. I don't know. Looks like it's trying to lift. <laughs> And the three horns I'm doing on each side, I'm doing the largest right here because I did make them different sizes, then the medium size, and then the smaller size. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to come back when I'm done with the rest of these because this is probably super boring. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to go into that dark blue from the CC Beauty Cream Paint Palette with a thin paintbrush. And just go along the bottom edges of the horns. Off camera, I threw on some lashes by VGTE. I used the Essence Lash Princess Mascara and I used the Wet n Wild Mega Liner to line my eyes. And now I'm going to go into the BH Cosmetics Black Light Highlight Palette and I'm taking the shade Queen, which is this blue shade right here. And I'm going to pop that on my cupid's bow. Oops. And then also on the tip of my nose and a little along the bridge underneath this area, like that. Okay, now finally, <laughs> I'm going in with two Wet n Wild Liquid Catsuit Lipsticks. This one is Darkness Falls, and this one is Boo Blue. I'm going to put Darkness Falls on all over my lips first, and then use Boo Blue for an ombre to kind of go with the what I have going on here. <laughs> Okay, now I'm going to go into the shade Boo Blue and put it on the center of my lips. Okay, now that that is all done, I'm going to throw on a wig and I will be right back. Okay, so this is the wig I decided to use. I have yet to use this for a look. This is from the brand Lutein. I did a, um, a review of a review of a bunch of their wigs a little while, not a little while, but quite a while ago on my channel. And this was one of them. And I actually think this look turned out really nicely. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you aren't already, or if you want to, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.